Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, January 8, 2011. This week, creating key lines with rounded corners. When my friend Shirley contacted me to ask me how to make key lines with rounded corners, I thought it would make a great tip. Thanks for the request, Shirley. Begin by opening your project in Photoshop or Elements. Get the rounded rectangle tool. This tool shares the space on the tool bin with the rectangle tool and the custom shape tool and several other tools. Just click and hold and then select the rounded rectangle tool. Next, set your foreground color to a color that contrasts with your open document and click OK. In the options bar, choose a radius. I've got a radius of 80 pixels chosen for this project. The larger the number, the more rounded your corner will be. And then click and drag out a rectangle on your page. Holding the shift key will give you a square instead of a rectangle. Next, select the shape layer in the layers panel. Control click or on a Mac system command click on the thumbnail of the shape to make a selection around it. If you look over on your document, you'll see that marching ants are surrounding your shape now. Tick the layer visibility icon, which looks like an eyeball here on the layer next to the icon. Make a new transparent layer by selecting the new layer icon in the layers panel. Target the new transparent layer and then choose edit stroke outline selection. This activates the stroke dialog box. Select a size and a color. I'm going to choose 10 pixels and then I'm going to click color and come over to my layout and suck up this red with the eyedropper tool and then click OK. Choose inside for the location and uncheck preserve transparency and then click OK. Press Control D or on a Mac system Command D to remove the selection from your key line. Now you can use the move tool to reposition and resize your box since the outline is on its own layer. The hidden shape layer here can be deleted by dragging it down to the trash bin once you're satisfied with your key line. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.